To look at the anatomy, the first and foremost is the right ventricular outflow tract obstruction. Here, the blood from the right ventricle cannot enter into the pulmonary circulation. That is the most important cause for hypoxia. The second is because of this obstruction, your right ventricle is hypertrophied. The blood from the right ventricle has gone into pulmonary circulation, but there is obstruction. So, the right ventricle contracts vigorously to push the blood in. So, it undergoes an hypertrophy. That is the second abnormality with regard to tetralogy of fallow. And third one is a ventricular septal defect. The blood from the right ventricle goes into the left side because your right side pressure is high and there is a blood which goes from the right side to left side of the heart and oxygenation does not happen and there is hypoxia. That is the third defect and this is perimembranous and a malaligned VSD. 